Hey, what's up guys? Stefan here. Today, we're going to make a beat with some classic R&B chords, my free kit Trap Attack 2, and some vocal samples. So let's not delay, let's get to it. So for the chords here, I used an organ from Alchemy, one of Logic's free stock plugins. The chord progression I'm using here is a classic. It's a 2-5-1-7-3-6 movement. But if that doesn't mean anything to you, don't worry. I have this chord progression on my website for free download. All you have to do is just share this video and it's yours. You can import it into any session, any uh, music software as well. So next we have the drums and I'm using Trap Attack 2 again, um, my free kit and I use this often in my tutorials just to make people aware that it exists um, and that they can use it in their beats for free. So this sound here is also a sound from Alchemy. It's quite a subby bass, so it was very important to have the kick and the sub bass or the bass on one accord. You know, it actually couples up with the kick and, and adds that sub bass to the kick and gives it body. So it's important that they're not doing their own thing for the, for the most part anyway. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of clash in that lower uh, frequency range. A cool trick to use, however, when you're doing this is to uh, put an actual compressor on the bass and side chain it to the kick. So every time the kick actually hits, the bass will take a gain reduction. For the most part, the bass is actually playing the root notes of the chords, but there are times where I deviate from that just to draw the listener's attention to certain important notes I want to really emphasize um, within the chord. Don't you know? I'll be the don't you know? So this is actually a vocal sample from Apple Loops that I'm using here. And I've just tweaked it a little bit by dropping it 12 semitones down and also duplicating it and raising it 12 semitones. So you've got a high voice and a low voice. And I've also just taken off a lot of the top end um, in terms of frequency. And I did these things mainly just to take it out of the way of what will be the space for the main vocalist. I couldn't have this vocal how it was originally in the track. It will just get in the way of what the main vocalist is trying to sing and trying to say. So I just quickly wanted to add a bit of percussion to the track. Um, I didn't really want to have to play anything in, so I've gone to Apple Loops and I found this loop. And I think using loops is okay as long as you take the time to make them your own. So I've just taken part of the loop that I like and I've ditched the rest and I've created a loop out of that. And then I've just added a flanger effect just to make it sound different. So I'm just gonna add one more piece of percussion and then we'll begin arranging the track. This vocal sample reminds me of a Leo for some reason. Um, so much so, I'm actually gonna, I've had an idea to put some uh, like birds in this intro. Um, thinking like Timberland right now. Um, so hey, I'm gonna throw some birds in there. Just that, add a bit of flavor, a bit of character and fill up, fill up the track actually. Cause when you've got um, noise in the background, it actually fills all the frequencies in the, in the spectrum. So it just fills up the track where, where it's empty. Thank 
stephanguy.com R&B and hip hop beats And that's it guys, thanks for watching. I hope you picked up something new today, but just remember, before you go, you can download the core progressions used in this track for free from my website, stephanguy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, drop a comment in the comment section below, and subscribe for more videos just like this. I've been Stefan, and as always, happy beat making.